Welcome back ladies and gents, we're going to be looking at the next section now which uh, is going to be all about conditional formatting. So we're going to come back over here, so the last section was a very short one about freezing panes. I'm going to copy this, make a new section, and we're going to call it conditional formatting as I said. Not sure how I got that there, but there we go. Okay, so now <laughs> conditional formatting means it's going to you're going to apply a set of rules, which is going to format specific cells. So format means it's going to change the way it looks. So either change the background or the font style or the font color, uh, depending on a condition that data has. Now that's it's going to make more sense uh, when I show you an example. So let me let's look at this table here, and uh, and you'll see what I mean. It'll be much easier to grasp what I mean by this. So I'm going to give you a very easy one. Let's look at the ratings here. It's like the booking process. Now we might say um, anything that's uh, say seven and above. So seven, eight, nine, and ten should be no. Let's say eight and above. So eight, nine, and ten should be in green. Okay, so we're gonna select everything here, and I think let's try this actually. So I'm gonna select like this. Uh, no, let's go down, all the way down. So, in fact, let's do all three. So you know, um, no, no, forgive me. Let's do all the ratings this way. Yeah. So go back to the top. I should really drag it from here. It's quicker. So that's rating, that's rating, and so is this really out of 10. All of these are out of 10. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom to make sure we select all of them. Now, we don't want the bottom totals. We just want this area here. We're going to go to home, and I believe it's in here. There it is, conditional formatting. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to put down... Yeah, let's do this one. Greater than... And we're going to say greater than 7, and we're going to make it, <coughs> yeah, I just want to make sure it's correct there. Can you see a 7 here, so it's not highlighted, so we want anything higher than 7. And we want to change this. We're going to go to custom, and um, I'm going to fill it in green, and make the font white, and make it bold as well press OK and there you go so anything that's basically 8 and above will be green so you can clearly see from a distance where uh, the majority of the high scores are press OK <coughs> excuse me we're now going to do the same thing <coughs> and we're going to use like a traffic light system so we're going to have a amber and a red as well so home conditional formatting same thing but this time we're going to say less than um, yeah, let's do less than 5. So this time we're going to say less than 5, and we're going to make that red. So basically that's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we'll go here, and we're going to make this fill. Let's make it red uh, font. I'm going to make it white, bold, and press OK. So again, from a distance, you'll see where the low scores are. And then we're going to do an amber one as well, so which is in between. So that's going to be between 5 and 7. So home, conditional formatting here. And this time it's going to be between um, 5 and 7. And this is going to be amber. So we're going to go into fill. I'm going to go for orange this time, font. Um, I'm not sure whether that will be easy, easily readable. Let's have a look. <coughs> now I think it's a little hard to see with the with that colour. So I'm going to go back, format, and just change the font to black. Keep the keep it black. Oh, forgot to keep the other ones. So black, bold, and fill. Press OK. There we go, that's better. And then we press OK. Now, that 
from a distance you can see that actually there's more greens than anything which is quite a good sign but you can see clearly where the reds and where the um, ambers are so it gives you an indication that there's obviously some room for improvement so that's one example of conditional formatting and um, what you need to do is obviously screenshot this and put it in here and explain what you've done and why you've done it how does this help now this is an easy version of conditional formatting for the higher marks you're gonna have to give a few others um, so I'm gonna give you a different style a different type now for higher marks you're gonna get the same process in here so let me show you what I mean so here you can highlight them and we can go to home conditional formatting and this time we're gonna go to top and bottom so let's just say yeah top items actually let's go for more rules just want to see let's format this to green white bold press ok there we go uh, for my only top or three bottom rank values, so we can say top three. So we can see the top three. Um, let's see how that looks. There we go. So you can see straight away the top three are highlighted in green. And we can do the same thing for the bottom three. Home conditional formatting. Bottom. 10, no, not bottom 10, sorry, Let me do that again, bottom 3 I want, I'm just wondering actually, should we do bottom 10 or bottom 3, yeah, let's do bottom 10 actually, so 10%, uh, and you can see, I'm going to keep it as it is to be honest, no, actually, no, I changed my mind. Forgive me. I want to keep it consistent. So I said three, so I want them three to be them, them to be three as well. So it was the percentage, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. I keep clicking the same one. My memory is shocking. So let's do this one. Custom formatting. Um, no, for some reason, not showing it. Actually, I know what it is. <coughs> Let's do the first one. Yeah, top 10 items. There we go. Custom. No. Sorry, my mind has gone blank. I can't seem to remember where I went. There we go. More rules. Um, bottom, that's fine. Now, here it is. I want bottom three and we can change this format here so fill bold and white press ok and I said three so it's got three and three there you go so it's shown four because there's all, all the last four have the same numbers that's why the you know it's going to pick four obviously um, now in this case it's not really as useful purely because we've already sorted it from top from highest to lowest anyway but when there are circumstances where we couldn't do that for example the sales by month uh, because it's in month order it's not going to be that um, that obvious is it um, because we have to keep it in um, date order you know it's, it needs to be in this order it wouldn't make any sense to have October before August um, so in this case, you may want to put rules in here to show where the worst days were. Um, so if I put this these down and then highlight these, and I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. As I said, I'm doing this as I'm going along. So let's give let's give this a, give this a go. Uh, it may work, it may not. Um, I'm just check here. Let's have a look at this one. No, don't like that. Go here, conditional formatting. Let's look at 
Nope, wrong one. There it is. So we want more rules and we want top three, bottom three. So let's look at the bottom ones for now. So bottom, um, let's change the color scheme. We want it to be red, bold, and white. And I'm just trying to figure out what I want. Do I want three? Let's go for bottom five. See how that looks. Now, no, didn't work unfortunately. So what I should have done is ma uh, maximize it first. So at the moment, see that it doesn't work really work, does it? So let's give this a go. As I said, this may or may not work. I've not tried it on expanding pivot tables before, but you get the point. I would play around and think about other ways you can use um, conditional formatting. So just like how we've got the top and bottom earners there, uh, apply some over here and over here and any other pivot tables, tables that you may have. Um, another good way you can um, use it is by highlighting um, films and their duration so you can see which is the which were the longest films and which was the shortest films. Now at the moment you can't do it here purely because a lot of these films are repeated. So what would be useful is to basically create another table somewhere with the individual individual films and their individual details separately. But we'll talk about that in the next video. Okay, so give that a go. Conditional formatting as I said for each conditional formatting you do, you must screenshot and, in, in, and introduce it here and talk about it and, and discuss exactly why you've done it. How is it going to be useful? Okay, good luck.